they are 108 in number comprising 103 males and five females they were rescued thursday afternoon by the police after a tip-off some of them have been in that detention camp for over five years some of them are in chains and they have been in that condition for so long period of time some of them have diseases that are not treated infectious diseases that are not treated but are allowed to be spreading in the camp it is so sad that fellow humans can be kept in that kind of condition the victims were brought from different parts of the country their offense was either that they were wayward stubborn or taking hard drugs i used to smoke to be honest but all that thankfully to god i changed because myself i know that kind of thing i won't do it again there's this day we try to escape even to now the angles were hanged Unfortunately for me, my leg, a Miss Moto, as big as I am, can't me. My leg, we are My leg is not balanced now. The victims claimed that their parents paid between 100 and 200 thousand naira to be rehabilitated at the center, but instead they were tortured and dehumanized. They are just there, maltreating us, beating us mercilessly on necessary things. This is my body. This is part of the king. Without not doing anything, they are just there beating us mercilessly. Please, we want the government to help us. This, this should be the end. I'm a taxified Uber driver. I have my car, okay, and I'm a graduate. I was picked. I dropped there. Then when I met this man with my mom, he, 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 he brought out the calabash, placed it on my head. They bait me with oil before going to the room, scrape my head. Then I was taken to this room where I saw boys of four years old being locked up for almost five years. I'm a Christian. I've never prayed. They didn't even call me for prayer for nothing. Just there, you be idle there. The camp is operated by this 75-year-old blind man from Ila, Ocean State. Their parents brought them voluntarily. I have been in this business since 1977. Some of my patients have mental health challenge and many of them have been rehabilitated. These victims crave for freedom. The discovery of this illegal rehabilitation camp followed those discovered in Kaduna and Kitsina states. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Ilon.